Hi everybody, uh, my name is Kenton DeYoung, this is my girlfriend Jessica Nuttle. Hello. And this is Kenton DeYoung Travel. Now, today on Kenton DeYoung Travel we're doing another unboxing. This time it's a box straight from Salem, Massachusetts. 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 From Haunted Happenings magazine. It's actually technically from Peabody, which is like a suburb of Salem. I don't know the exact, the exact geography of the area, but it's close enough from Salem that it's from Salem. Should I open it? Now, we don't know what's in this. I deliberately made sure I didn't read the website at all, so I have no idea what we're walking into. I'm hoping it, it won't be a hex or a curse. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we have like a little thank you card with a witch on the back. Mm -hmm. just, says, just says thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and yeah, uh, it's all wrapped up in uh, an orange wrapping uh, tissue, paper. tissue paper with a sticker on it from Haunted, Haunted Halloween Happenings Magazine. Haunted Happenings. Happy Haunted Happenings Magazine. We will do it like this. Ooh, you wanna open it? I'd love to. I follow her on Instagram. Who is this? She's a witch in Salem. And wasn't it a uh, typical Victorian custom to send postcards at Halloween? Kind of, we send cards so. at Christmas time? It says, hop on, let's see where this broom takes us. And it's a cute little postcard from Salem. That's cute. I like that. Okay. Can't really like blindly. No, not like the other time. No. Here we have four little stickers. Of a ghost, a zombie hand coming out of the ground, a haunted house, and a. I think it's a another ghost. ghost. Another ghost. Yeah, that's cute. Very cool. We can all do close ups. Later. Yeah, we will. And here you have a little. It looks like a little. What does it say? Love. Love. With a L is a witch hat. That's cute. It's like a little decal. Yeah, or maybe it's a temporary tattoo. Oh, yeah, that's a tattoo. That makes sense. Um, I'll take uh, these. No, I'll just take this. Okay. It looks like another tattoo. Okay. Of, again, of the uh, witch's hat. Little witch hat. It's yeah. so cute. And this. Oh my gosh! It's a skull mask. No way! I was actually trying to find one of those online. Oh my gosh! It's so big. My little tiny face. That looks great. Does it? Yeah, it looks really good. It smells like oh. What else is in here? Oh, this is probably, um... Mm. Okay, so it's like incense or something. Can I see? It smells like sage or... Oh, I bet this is the sage. Oh, 2020 needs a lot of this. <laughs> this looks like, um... So, I'll, ex I'll describe what we're looking at. Uh, there appears to be a piece of wax in here, as well as a piece of wood, mm -hmm. and a little rock. I wonder if it's like for witchcraft or something. Maybe, is it flint? No, it's not flint. It's, it feels too hard to be flint. Mm -hmm. And what you have there, I believe that is sage. Yes, it is sage. This is for sure sage. I... Oh, I see. Okay, the, this wax has a candle. But does it go on the stick? Maybe I'll oh, open this. That's so cute. I love that mask. I actually like that mask more than when, when I got the skull in it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I like that mask. At first I thought it was a pirate mask. It's but. kind of a pirate mask. Like... Black flag logo. Okay, here's what's in that with this, this bag. <laughs> so here's, oh, it does smell. Here's a piece of wood. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, it smells good though. Mm -hmm. Here's a like candle. Like air freshener, fresh from the tree. <laughs> Maybe some kind of like scented wood from like the, uh, the east coast. Maybe. And these rocks. I imagine there's like a spell or witch spell you could do with these certain things? I have no idea. Not sure, but it's so cool. I can't identify what gems these are supposed to be. No idea. But could it, perhaps it's just stuff from Salem? Why did I smell the rocks? Like it's good. Maybe it's like, this is made from like beeswax in Salem, maybe this is a tree from Salem and it's mm. rocks from Salem? Made from the real witch. Sorry, I got that. Cool. Maybe that's what they're, maybe, we'll find out. Maybe it says in here somewhere. Yeah. Or we look on the website. We can do that too. This is an easy one. We have a pencil and a pen. Uh, I'll let you do the pencil. So the pencil has a black cat, a ghost, candy corn, and a bat on it. And it's yellow. 
and the racer is black. Is it black? And it's not scented. No, wait. Probably from the Why am I obsessed with smelling everything? It's probably the sage. <laughs> yeah. Made everything I thought maybe the racer like, had a scent to it, like licorice or something, but no. And the blue pen, it says, I survived haunted happenings, Salem, Massachusetts. 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 I survived Salem. Yeah, it has a little haunted house on it. Oh, this is cute. It should say, I survived 2020. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that from there. I'll let you get the next one. So this one says, Bubble Bubble Toil and Trouble. Does it open up? I think it's a. I'm not sure what this is. It's just like a little piece of paper. Can I see? Hold up. It doesn't open up. Sure. I have no idea. What the function is on that one, but it's cute. This. It's like a little, huh. little disc with okay. a witch on the side, and it has some directions here. To the Witch Dungeon Museum, maybe. Oh. Okay. It says Gallows Hill Museum and Theater. Okay. Witch Dungeon Museum and the Tabernacle. Oh. Which okay. I don't know nothing what those things are. Well, the tabernacle looks like a church. Yeah. Uh, Gallows Hill, which is, you know, is where the witches got hung. Is that? Um, um, we were talking about it earlier today. Is that Proctor's um, Ledge. Yeah, it's been proven that the witches were actually hung at Proctor's Ledge in Salem, which is, like, right next door to the Walgreens in Salem now. So, a little bit of history there for you. Shout um, out to, uh, who's that YouTuber um, that you follow? Oh, uh, Ask a Mortician. Yes. Yeah. Caitlin Do Doty yeah. on YouTube. She's super interesting. She's very cool. She's very cool. This is just a photograph of, looks like some old tiny Salem homes, like old sod houses, which is very cool. Does it say on the back? No, it's just a picture. I think, well, in Salem, I've never been, but I'd love to go someday. Um, I think they have lots of old, like, historical villages mm -hmm. from the time of those witch burning or burnings. Burnings. burnings yeah. Yeah. No, they never burned them, they hung them. them yeah. That's another historical tidbit, is they never burned the witches, they just hung them. I think it's in Europe they burn them, and in the New World they hang them. Sure. Sure, we'll go with that. Anyway, there's a lot of cool, I cool stuff here. I actually thought there was going to be a doll in here. Because it looked like there was a doll on the website, but maybe what I saw was just a sage. This will definitely be yours, because it's way too big for my okay. face. <laughs> you know what, this doesn't smell anything like this. Oh, I broke some. Okay. Like this wood, so maybe, maybe they're different. Maybe the wood does smell. We'll have to look online to see That's what so this cute. is. so cute. Like I actually want a witch hat tattoo now. You can have that tattoo. I know, but like a real one. So I think that's it. It's a lot smaller box than the one we did from Tokyo mm -hmm. Treats. Um, which actually, in the, uh, in the upcoming video, we have another box from Tokyo Treats about Halloween. So we have a lot of Halloween unboxing videos coming up. Mm -hmm. This is from uh, Haunted Happenings magazine, and uh, it's part of their Salem. Uh, Massachusetts uh, 365 campaign to try and bring awareness that Salem is not just about witches. Mm -hmm. It's a big part about witches, but it's also it's a fantastic booming community with lots of local, uh, local businesses and entrepreneurs, and there's a lot more to see than just Salem in October. Well, everyone goes there for that, yeah. but you can go there 365 days a year, except right now. If you're from, if you're, in not not in the United States. Yeah. Um, so it, the whole purpose is to bring people to Salem, but it's not just October. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing this in September, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like what they wanted. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Anyway, lots of cool stuff here. Yeah, very um, cool stuff. Lots of stuff we weren't really expecting, but yeah. I mean the mask was really cool. I think my favorite out of everything would probably be the mask or the tattoo, just because like I'm I like temporary tattoos. I don't know why. And the postcard, or the picture. That's pretty cool. Very interesting. I wish I knew what this was. I don't know, it's just like a little... Little card. Little card. A cute little card. I think I like the sage. Yeah. And the, sage. the candle and the wood. Although I don't know what it is. We'll have to look that one up. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Until then, we'll see you next time. Whatever Wherever that, that is. is. Bye, guys. Bye. Hi everyone, so uh, Kenton wanted me to show you a little bit of my spooky town village, um, so I thought I would. I've been collecting for maybe about 15 years now. I usually buy a piece every year. Some of it is the Max, some of it is Department 56. I get my stuff from Michaels and I've got a lot of my stuff from 
uh, store in Banff called Spirit of Christmas, which also has a lot of Halloween stuff. Um, yeah, this year I decided to do something a little different. I set it up on this table, put in a little bit of a bigger cemetery. Um, so yeah, it's my village. Um, this one is a new one this year, Jack's Pumpkin Farm. It's a favorite among the Lamax lovers this year. And last year's one was the library. Haunted library. Um, I really enjoyed doing it, and I uh, thought I would show you around the village a little bit.